It has been an intense year as a head coach, uh, with a lot of, of uh, things to learn. A new club, new country, new league, a uh, new group of players. And in that sense, uh, I'm really enjoying the experience. I think that uh, when I look back, uh, we developed quite a lot. And in that sense, I'm very happy and optimistic about the future. So uh, I think that we improved both in, in and off the pitch. I think that uh, according to the targets we had, we are much better on a daily basis in terms of training, the development that the team is having. And for me, the, perhaps the most interesting part is that I still think that the potential in the group and, and in the club is, is great. So the possibilities to improve uh, are even bigger. Yes. When I arrive, uh, you always need to learn a lot about the players, about the culture of the club. So for me, it's very important to, to find a balance between my ideas, uh, yeah, the, the way we train, my training methodology, and as well to learn what are the values of the club, uh, what are the values of the group of players, and then find a good way to, yeah, to find this performance level that we are looking for. At the end, this is professional sport, we're chasing results, but for me, it's very important the process, the way we achieve those. And in that sense, I'm very happy that we have a, an excellent human group to work with, both in the staff and in the players. That give me a lot of possibilities to develop because they are great people to work with. That makes our daily work uh, nice. I'm excited every morning when I take the car. I'm coming here, it's, it's such a pleasure. So in that sense, I think that we have the right conditions to develop. Then, um, when I look back, to one year, I think that the main thing we have improved is on a daily basis. I think definitely the, the capacity to work under higher standards of quality of the demands, both from the staff to the players, to the players in between them, uh, the, the level of quality that we have and everything we do. Uh, I think that now we are getting into a point in the last, in the last weeks, in the last months, where the competition level is that high that actually sometimes uh, think about cutting down the training because it's getting really, really competitive. And this is a healthy signal that I experience in, in few other clubs, but that shows me that we are on the right, on the right direction. Good ball. Yes, 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 you got it. The beginning was not easy and, and everybody know that. And, yeah, I think that I, I mentioned that before. My start in almost every club has not been easy because perhaps my way of training takes some time. My concepts, the way I understand football uh, is perhaps a bit more complex than not just uh, kick and rush or just focus into defending and wait for the best. The first games were difficult. We knew the schedule was difficult. And in that sense, that's true. We didn't succeed into, into getting the points. I remember one game at home against Ranas, we had a really big situation, chance in the last minute with Matias Ross. Once again, it's about edges, but as well I said to the guys in my first weeks that oh, my feeling was that we didn't deserve the edges. The small edges that many times decide a game, I think that you need to deserve. Uh, how? Working a lot during the week, improving every day. Uh, working to get those small edges because at the end professional football is about that, everybody prepares, the opponents as well have a good organization, they work hard to prepare the games and in that sense I think that <clears throat> it's important that as a team, as a club, we understand that these small edges is what make the difference, so you need to fight for them. And I think that now when I look back, uh, we are in a different position. It has been many games that has been decided in our side because those small situations, small edges, and, and, and I fully understand that it's not just about luck, that when you work hard, when you work into, into relations, when the players understand the game better, when, when you give them some level of freedom according to a good organization, where they can grow, where they can feel happy about playing in this team, then things can, can happen. So in that sense, I, I definitely think that there is a progression compared with the beginning that obviously was difficult into getting those results, those points that we were looking for but as well in terms of playing. And that's for me the foundation. When you play good, the results will come. And still we are aware that we can improve in many areas. So we need to be more stable in the games. We need to be better defensively. We need to create more chances. We can improve in all the areas in the, in the games. As I always said, even the best team in the world can do it. So, uh, but for me, what is important is that we have a committed group, guys that trust on what we are doing. And that, uh, that makes me feel confident about the future. I think that you can see definitely that the players are understanding better and better this 
positional way of playing, where it's mostly about being in the right place at the right time. Basically, that could be the, the summary. So then it takes a lot of time to understand these concepts. It takes time, especially when they are perhaps uh, grown in a culture that has not been focused that much into some of those concepts. But I think that they are doing great. And then uh, you can see that in the open game. As I said before, some days we are better, some days we are worse. But I definitely think that uh, when I see especially the positioning of the team in the pitch, how the other relations growing, how are the players now looking when they have the ball at different passing options instead of just kicking long and wait for the best. Um, I respect all the ways of playing, but definitely my way of understanding how we can win more games is this one. So then if we can add the fact that we are strong in set pieces, I think it's fantastic because that makes us even more competitive. And I think it's something just to be extremely proud and keep on taking more points in that situation. One of the reasons that really motivated me to, to come here and take this challenge in Orbok, it was uh, because of the amazing uh, support the club has. I think that the fans, the supporters are really, really uh, strong. It's amazing the atmosphere that they can build. At the end, they give us a meaning on why we play. It's, it's, it's really grateful to win games and then uh, cheer with them and, and, and feel the support and how much they care about the team. So I'm, I'm, I'm grateful uh, for all this support I receive every time I walk in the city. People stop me, they have only, only good words for me and for the team. This is something that I really value because uh, it's not easy to have this engagement and this love for the club. So I really think that it's something special what, uh, what this city and this club has in that sense. Some of the games I remember we play away against Ghana's. It felt like we were playing at home, we were playing away against Nordjylland, we were playing away against Sundarisk in a Monday night, cold, rainy, and still there was a big support. They really helped us in the moments that the game was tight. Uh, and in that sense, uh, I'm very happy that they can enjoy with us and the atmosphere they are building in the West Tribune, in uh, the whole pitch is, is unbelievable. We shift the ball behind the line, okay? And then here you are. Must play two touches. As a coach, uh, we have some targets that we want to improve, that we are really focused into in the short term, try to make a difference. We always speak about the position in the pitch because that helps us to, to improve on everything. When we are on the ball and we have good positions, then to play, to connect with the players, to build relations is much easier. So we know that we can improve offensively in how many goal chances we produce in any game. But still the team is right now, I think, the third goal scorer in the league. I think we score a lot of goals. Um, so it's good to feel that we can still improve in that sense. Um, I think that defensively uh, we need to work on considering less goal chances, even though as well we are not one of the teams that is considering more goals, but still we can improve on that. In that sense, I'm very focused in to go week, week by week. Then when we are back on, after the winter break, the, we're going to have uh, six weeks to prepare the team properly. And definitely the target of these six weeks will be to win the next game. So that has been the target since I arrived, to try to be better week by week, game by game. And this will be the target as well when we are back.